Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to Code Signal. We're working on the Python coding exercises. If you're joining this in the middle of the playlist, I'll put a link in the description below so you can start from the beginning if you wish. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started somewhere in the arcade. Going to Python. Going to Drilling Bliss. Number 57, correct lineup. For the opening ceremony of the upcoming sports event, an even number of athletes were picked. They formed a correct lineup, i.e. such a lineup in which no two boys or two girls stand together. First person in the lineup was a girl as part of the performance, adjacent pairs of athletes, i.e. the first one together with the second one, the third one together with the fourth one, had to swap positions with each other. Given a list of athletes, return the list of athletes after the changes, i.e. after each adjacent pair of athletes is swapped. All right, so what they're really doing is they're taking this list here, uh, one through six, and then they're swapping one with two here, three with four, the fourth and three, and five and six here. So that's what needs to be done, is just swapping adjacent pairs. So how would you do that? So I found this nifty solution. Uh, I was looking through the solutions and this was kind of a nice way to do it. So first thing they're doing is they're going through all the indexes uh, for all of the items in the athletes list. So I is going to be zero, in this case zero through five, because remember Python starts with zero index, so the first item is zero index, then one, two, three, four, five. And then it's taking uh, the slice of this. So you'll see this is I, and then there's that caret, and then one. So what that is is that is a bitwise X or exclusive or. So I'm going to tell you how that works. So let's take an example of five X or one. So if you look at the binary of five. Uh, so if you're not familiar with binary, it's a base two numbering system. And so five would re be represented like this, one, zero, one, because one is worth one. Uh, then there's a two place, and then this one here in this place is worth four. So it's four plus one gives you five. And then one would be represented as zero, zero, one. So the what the caret here does is if both of them are one, then it's gonna put a zero in that place. If both of them are zero, then it's gonna put a zero as well. And if one of them is one and the other is zero, then it'll put a one there. So doing this, uh, if you do five XOR one, then you'll get four because it puts zero here, zero here, and then one here because uh, one of them is one but not both. So that's going to give you what you're looking for. So it's going to turn 0 to 1, 1 to 0, and etc. So it's basically going to swap these, as you'll see here, the index values. All right. So if you ran that, you'd see that that works. Um, if you want me to do another example, so you can, uh, let's do uh, 2, uh, 1. So 2 would be represented here, so we only need uh, two digits here. Actually, we only need one. No, we need two, sorry. So two would be one, zero. That's how two is represented. And in binary, one would be zero, one. So what would we get there? We would get one, one, because one of them is one, but the other is zero. And this would be three. So two index turns into three. So let's go here, zero, one, two, three. So you will see that what was here in the index is now moving to three. So it's shifting index two to index three. All right, hopefully that's a good explanation and you guys are able to follow along with that. 
uh, and you'll join me for future videos. Thank you very much.